Now we'll see how we can create the context. At first, we need to open the context and then click the plus button to create the context. There, we need to enter the details of the context, which can be the name, phone, email, and, and any other you know details for the contact information. Now, the step is optional for you if you want to add some additional information, which can be nickname or maybe some mailing address. And there are more fields where you can fill in the details. And finally, you can simply click on the save button. After that, we must know about sharing the contacts. So if your users often contact people outside the domain, such as consultants or partners, you can add them to your directory as some shared external contacts. Now, people in your organization can find the profile information for your shared external contacts in many Google services, such as when they enter the addresses in the Gmail. So shared external contacts aren't available in the cloud search results. So how you can add some external contact? Let us check that. You can add the external context to your directory in three different ways. Firstly, Domain Shared Context API. So for admins who are comfortable with using the SDKs, use these APIs to add, edit or delete any external context. So before working with the APIs, you need to enable APIs access. You should also be familiar with the protocol basics. Once you are comfortable with the APIs, use the code libraries for reference. Secondly, the Google Workspace Marketplace apps for admins who want a user interface that does not require programming. Therefore, search for shared context. The third one is the Google Cloud Directory Sync. For the admins who want to synchronize some external context from a Microsoft Active Directory or some LDAP server. So sync your shared context. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.